targeted interventions to address gaps in social support extended to young St. Lucian males form part of the recently launched Save Our Boys project. Speaking at the presentation of the initiative, Minister for Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology and Vocational Training, Honorable Sean Edward, highlighted the importance of presenting young males with opportunities to unlock their potential. Our young males are extremely vulnerable and it is too easy for them to fall prey to the ills of society. By investing in their futures, we are not only helping them as individuals, but also strengthening the fabric of our society. So any project, any initiative, whether it is spearheaded by the Ministry of Education that I lead or any other agency of government that can accentuate um, the plight of, of the young male in society, I stand ready to provide support. Implemented by the St. Lucia Social Development Fund, SSDF, the project will provide training and support sessions to 120 young males between the ages of 13 and 18 years. The venture is structured to invite increased male participation in mentorship initiatives. The Save Our Boys project is a transformative initiative aimed at supporting 120 young men aged 13 to 18 from economically deprived households who are at risk of dropping out of secondary schools and engaging in deviant behavior. Our mission is clear, to address personal and family concerns by offering a range of psychoeducational activities that covers decision-making, emotional intelligence, life skills, mentorship, anger management, and behavior modification. Reflecting on the value of positive male influence on young men, the education minister says an increase in male role models is needed across all sectors including the education system. Presently, 21.6% of St. Lucia's teachers are male. Structuring initiatives to meet the needs of young men, Minister Edwards says, remains paramount. Addressing beneficiaries of the project, he affirmed the support of the government of St. Lucia for such efforts. Boys, I want to let you know that the government of St. Lucia cares a lot about you. We are spending quite a bit of money to ensure that we give you the direction um, we can point you, sorry, in the direction that you need to travel to become productive citizens. We don't put a dollar value on your development. We do not put a dollar value on the amount of training that you would need. What we want more than anything else is that you will grow up and become useful men in society. You will become responsible fathers. You will become responsible leaders. And by so doing, Senator will be a much better place for it. Minister for Equity, Social Justice and Empowerment, Honorable Joachim Henry, encouraged participants to immerse themselves in the project and strive for excellence. You may, for some reason or the other, had something to prevent you from doing well at secondary school and my father and my mother broke up like you and, and all of the stories that affect so many of us in our society. But it doesn't prevent us from making this contribution to the well-being of humankind. Funding for the Save Our Boys project is provided by the Local Engagement and Action Fund LEAF Grant Mechanism under the Field Support Service Project, which is subsidized by the Government of Canada. The LEAF supports local organizations in the Caribbean by strengthening capacity to address developmental issues, funding innovative and sustainable projects which benefit vulnerable sectors. From the Communications Unit of the Department of Education, Innovation and Vocational Training, I am Kiba Talium.